it's May here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time with me, I'm really happy to have you joining me. I make videos about all kinds of things that I love, including planners and bullet journals. I also talk a lot about health and wellness and having a balanced lifestyle. So we have a lot of fun around here. I hope you enjoy this video, you give it a thumbs up, and you subscribe. All right, so I have been getting a ton of questions from you guys about um, what my planner is going to be for 2018, um, what system I'm going to be using, all this kind of stuff. I shared this one recently on Instagram, and um, this is just a very simple monthly small pocket size um, calendar from Sugar Paper LA from Target. I am using this currently. It's not my entire system, but I am using it. I'll share this with you guys in my upcoming video. I'll talk all about my 2018 system, but spoiler alert, I'm going to be using a bullet journal. So I've kind of had this crazy journey with planning. Sometimes I use my planner all the time. Sometimes I don't. If you guys have been with me from the beginning, you know, I've been making YouTube videos for a very long time. Um, and I started out only making planner videos. And so you guys know that, um, I was really loving a lot of different planner types. I was doing bullet journal. I was doing um, a Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I was just kind of all over the place. So I used to try a lot of different systems. And you know, at that point in my life, um, you know, with work and all those things that I was doing, um, I was trying different systems and that was working for me. Um, now things are a little bit different. Um, they are much more hectic than they were before and I'm kind of managing a lot of different things. So I just have a need for a really simple system. And also I shared with you guys, um, I think it was beginning of 2016, honestly, I can't remember when it was, but I did start using my digital planner a lot more. Um, and I do still use a digital calendar, um, for appointments during the day because I just have too many to write them down. Um, but I use a planner more for record keeping. Um, for kind of, yeah, memory keeping, for forward planning, lists, things like that. And I believe that for that use, a bullet journal is the best. So this is not my bullet journal. I will share that with you guys, but I wanted to just share with you the process and kind of what I was doing to prepare for my bullet journal because I thought you guys would enjoy this. Um, so I this is just the notebook I use to kind of write everything out. So I'm gonna go through this with you guys. Um, if you're wondering what I'm gonna put my bullet journal in, you guessed it, my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I love this thing. I have used it time and time again and this is what I will be using. Um, I like it because I can just throw things in there, papers, things like that. So um, I will be putting my bullet journal in here. Again, don't worry, I am gonna show you guys the bullet journal once it's set up, but this is just my planning process and how I'm getting everything ready. This notebook is just a Rifle Paper Company notebook. Um, I think I just ordered it from their website. All right, so let me just tell you guys briefly, I'm sure you know what a bullet journal is already, um, but just in case you don't, it is a way of organization that has really taken the planning community by storm. And the cool thing about it is it's highly customizable. You can really turn it into whatever you want. Um, and that's what I love about it. I, um, I just like to kind of make things my own and take bits and pieces of different things that I like and make that system work for me. And that's the best part about a bullet journal, I think. So I do have an entire bullet journal playlist that I will link down below for you guys. It'll give you a good overview of what a bullet journal actually is. And um, it'll show you some of my bullet journals from the past and how I've organized things so you can get an idea. Um, for 2018, I think I'm gonna be spicing it up a bit. If you guys have been following me over the past year or so, you know that um, I really took my decorating down several notches. Um, I've never been one to like traditional planner decorations. Um, I you know, created my own stickers, which by the way, if you are watching this when the video goes live, I will be phasing out my stickers. So if I've designed something that you like and you enjoy and you want to have, um, please make sure that you pick it up from my shop because um, those will slowly be going away. Um, new things are coming, but um, yeah, I'm phasing out my stickers and my sticker shop. Thank you guys so much for all of your support, everyone who downloaded one um, and purchased one. But yeah, those are going away, so grab them if you want them. All right, so anyway, I was just moving away from washi tape and pens and all that stuff. I just really craved something much simpler. 
And for a long time that was working for me, but lately I've just been kind of inspired again to get back into um, pretty planning. Nothing too extreme, but I am gonna get back into it again. So um, I'll show you guys in, in my um, buy list what I wanna purchase to kind of spruce up my bullet journal. But what I did was um, start watching a lot of videos on YouTube. That was really step number one for me and how I decided to um, plan out my bullet journal and set it up. There were certain things that I knew that I wanted and so I just kind of started to make a list of those things. Um, I knew that I wanted an October, November, December review spread. I am gonna be starting it full on in January 2018, but um, you know I'm inspired to do this now and so I like to keep that together. And I am planning on only using one notebook for 2018. Um, there were times where I liked things kind of spread out, but not anymore. I think the um, the cool part about a bullet journal is that everything is together. Your note pages, your calendars, um, resource information that you want to access later on, that's all together. So I'm planning on keeping it all in one notebook. And I'll tell you guys again what that will be um, coming up shortly. So anyway, yeah, just I wanted to make sure I have these spreads. I want to do an 18 before 2018 list. Um, I need to kind of figure out my color index. So I just kind of made notes on, on all the things that um, I was kind of seeing. I'm planning on doing the one little word. I had done that in, gosh, was it 2015? Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of... Um, trying to figure out if I'm going to participate in that or not. And then I made a list of what I want to have every month um, at the beginning of every month. So the only thing that might be kind of annoying about the bullet journal is that um, because everything is just back to back to back, um, they're not really divided into sections. Sometimes it's hard to find certain things. Now there is an index um, and that is certainly very helpful, but you know, sometimes you don't want to have to like flip through a million pages. So I wanted to make sure that I planned out very carefully what I was going to have at the beginning of the entire notebook, um, you know, things that I would access quite frequently, and then what I wanted to have at the beginning of every month as well. So I am going to be doing a workout tracker. I want to track my mood, and that is because I am researching um, how food and hormones affect our mood. So um, if you guys don't know, my background is in law. I'm a lawyer and entrepreneur, um, but I have transitioned and I'm studying natural health and wellness right now. Um, I'm a big believer in functional medicine and um, it's something that I've been incorporating into my life a lot more and um, that I've been studying for myself. So um, I want to kind of see what that correlation is between food and mood. So um, I'm going to be tracking my mood. And then a habit tracker, um, I think I have a list later on in here about what things I want to track in the habit tracker. I'm going to do intentions every month. I um, share those almost every month on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, um, be sure to pop over there and follow me on Instagram. I will just say really quickly, um, most of you know this, but the algorithm on most social media, um, especially Instagram, is really crazy and is really working against content creators. So um, when you follow us on those platforms, it means a lot um, and we and I'm, I'm grateful and I think I can speak for everyone else that we are grateful. Um, however, it's super important that you like and comment as well because the algorithm will pick that up and will show you more of our content. So um, we work really hard to create these things for you all and so um, I know that I can say I really, really appreciate it when you guys like and comment as well. All right. Anyway, end my tangent there. Um, so I'm gonna try to do one line a day and then definitely a gratitude log. Um, I kind of wrote out, you know at the beginning of every month how there's just a list of um, you know, the days of the month, just one through 30 or 31. Um, and then I wanted to kind of break that up. So I made a note here to break it up as an AM, PM, and then all day. Um, and I'll share with you guys a lot of the resources I love. I love Jen from, um, I think it's pretty eat, pretty neat living now. She used to be organized like Jen. Love her. Um, there's a lot of great bullet journal resources on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I just, you know, have been watching a lot of those videos and again, taking notes as I watch those videos. Um, on what I wanted to do. And also, like I said, I do have a um, bullet journal 
playlist of all of my videos as well. So you can check that out. And then also I want to make sure that I review the previous month. I'm not sure if I want to put this like in the next month to look at the month before, or if I want to put it at the end of the actual month that I'm reviewing. Does that make sense? So we'll see. I got to figure that part out. And then I definitely want to know what worked well um, that month and then kind of what I can improve on. And then also at this month at a glance. All right, I also started making a list of supplies. So I'm gonna be using the Lectrum 1917. I hope I'm saying that correctly, who knows. Um, I'm thinking my color scheme will either be uh, gold or silver or navy. And I'm also gonna start using the Tombow um, dual, brush, dual brush pens. I am really excited about those. I've been seeing them in a lot of YouTube videos, um, so I'm excited to get those. I'm also gonna order a Pitt Artist pen, um, and then I don't know yet if I'm gonna order any washi tape. I still have some of my collection. I did get rid of a lot of it, but I still have plenty to get me started, so I might kind of order that along the way. Um, and then definitely we'll be using my stickers as well. And then I started to make a list of the collections that I wanted to include. Um, I saw a lot of people doing this level 10 life, which is part of the Miracle Morning. And I definitely believe in the Miracle Morning. I actually have a video on my morning routine, which I will we'll again link down below for you guys. Um, but I believe in um, spending time in the mornings doing the things that are um, important to you and kind of breaking them up into little 10 minute segments. So that's the Miracle Morning, but a concept that he talks about is this level 10 life. So I'm gonna try that. Um, again, I try to be really conscious about um, eating clean. And so I wanna kind of make a list of some paleo and whole 30 um, ingredients, maybe meal plans. I'm kind of thinking this out. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. And then also, of course, video ideas. I wanna have a collection for that. Um, and collections are basically just spreads, you guys. Um, and then probably a dirty dozen list. I definitely wanna do a seasonal bucket list. So I think I'll do that at the beginning of every quarter. Um, again, quarterly goals and things that I may need for the home. Something I saw on Boho Berry, um, she had put in the moon phases, and I know this is a bit woo-woo, -woo, but um, I'm really interested in the moon right now and kind of the different phases and how that affects the earth and our um, bodies and emotions and things like that. So I might put that in there, um, a mind, body, spirit, and then in my ideal day. I've been seeing a lot of people do my ideal day, and I love that concept. Um, I love just having something that I can come back to and kind of compare. Um, and then this is a list of what I want to make sure I keep at the very beginning of the notebook. So it's very easily accessible. So definitely the 2018 um, you're on one page and then a dream board. I'm planning on doing that as well. And then I made a list of what I want to put in my habit tracker. So making sure that I wake up on on time, my workout, my miracle morning, eating clean, um, my probiotic supplements, bed by 1030. You guys, sleep is so important. I know everyone says this, but I just realize more and more um, every time I read an article or do research how important sleep is and how it affects the body. That is the time when your body can heal. So I'm going to try to go to bed by 1030. I know that may sound ridiculous, but I'm going to really make that commitment and try to do that. And then also um, my posting on social media, I wanna track that as well. And then um, just different moods and feelings um, that I've seen people doing. And then I've seen a lot of different fun ways that people have been tracking it. I've seen a mandala, which I'm not gonna do. I'm actually not a huge fan of those, um, just aesthetically. So I've seen the words, someone did a spread with different cacti, which I thought was so cute. And then also just the squares as well. And then I just kind of sketched out a look at what a weekly spread might look like. Um, so it'll just have the date and then, um, you know, Monday through Sunday and the appointments and then all day. Again, I don't know if I will use this just because I don't keep my appointments um, written down. I keep them digitally. And then just to look at this week and on the horizon. So we'll see. I don't wanna to put too much pressure on myself to like fill these out every week. So we'll see how that goes. And then the final thing is the quarterly goals. I love these categories, finish, do, celebrate, study, and start. So yeah, that's it. Like I said, I've just been watching a lot of different bullet journal videos and um, making notes on the things that I want. I'm gonna place this order with um, Amazon. So 
We will see when that comes in. I'll show you guys if I get anything else. Maybe I'll do a little haul. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Um, and then, of course, I will film the setup process with you guys as well. But I thought you guys might enjoy um, kind of seeing what I plan to put in my bullet journal and um, knowing that that's what I'm going to be using in 2018. So if you have any suggestions for things that you think are important to track or anyone else that I should check out for bullet journals, um, I'm definitely still playing around with this. None of it is set in stone, so I'm still kind of making notes and um, figuring it all out. So leave me any suggestions down below. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and come join my party over on Instagram. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.